Police have bagged two more suspects, bringing to 10 the number of arrests linked to the deadly Rosettenville shootout. Eight gunmen died in a hail of bullets in the Johannesburg suburb yesterday. Police say they pounced on 25 suspects at a safe house before the group could carry out a cash in transit heist. Some visuals in the following story may be upsetting. Senior reporter Barry Bateman reports. It's being hailed as another success for the police's specialized cash in transit task team. Highly trained and deadly to criminals who raise a gun at them. Various policing disciplines worked tirelessly throughout the night where they had cornered the heavily armed suspects. We can confirm that eight suspects were shot and killed. Two more suspects were arrested last night, which brings the total number of suspects arrested in this case to 10. The scene bears the scars of a fierce gun battle and evidence of the eight who were killed. Neighbours are still in shock. It was quite bad. There was police helicopters in the air and the police helicopters started shooting downwards, whereas the suspects started shooting back. It was like right above our house when they were starting shooting back to the police helicopter and the police helicopter immediately turned around and fled the scene. By that time it was, it was like a war zone. It was, I can't even explain to you like the fear that goes through you hearing bullets flying over your house. The neighborhood seemed oblivious to what was being hatched in its midst. They, they're good neighbors actually, they're good people. Well, that's what we thought. They live right on the other side of, of the corner here. Yeah. We thought they were good people, but we guess they were not. What made you think they were good people? Because we hardly see them. They're always, they're always indoors or wherever doing their business. The authorities have asked the remaining seven suspects to hand themselves over. Barry Bateman, Johannesburg.